whole new level of suck to bridges. <laughs> Amazing. Joe and this is Sherry and this is our pup Irma and thanks for watching a life more light we get asked sometimes because we've got a little camper I suspect where do you store stuff and how much storage do you have and do you really travel light what do you think I think we usually do but I don't know if we are right now so I guess you'll have to decide that we're going to cover the areas of the L2R 1713 that have storage indoors and we'll give you a peek inside the garage at the end too. Um, mm -hmm. Joe can give you a tour of that. But this is just specifically the storage areas because everyone wonders like well, where do you put anything? So there are... Three? three areas. Three, I think it's three. There are, yes, yeah. there are three. Not including specific. the garage, but the garage on this, in, in comparison to most campers, is pretty small. I mean, it's literally a few square feet. Yes. So, so I'd say three. We're going to show you three specific indoor areas. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to cover the kitchen and the bathroom. Those are two separate topics, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If you would like to see our kitchen and bathroom storage, let yeah. us know. Comment below, and we'll get on that. You can subscribe, too. Then you'll see it if we cover it next time. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate that. Uh, I was gonna say something else. Oh. Maybe what we should do is just take all the stuff out and lay it out just to see how much stuff we got. Fortunately, we have this uh, loop pretty much to ourselves. Otherwise, I think it might look mm -hmm. kind of like a rummage sale. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh, and I, guys, not sponsored. This bottle is amazing. Our amazing daughter-in-law mm -hmm. told us about it. Yep. It's Awala, O-W-A-L-A, -A, and it has like a wide mouth with the cover, but it also has a straw built into the wide mouth. Mm -hmm. It's a total game changer. You don't have to try to do this while you're driving the car. I don't use a straw very often, but it's handy to have. Okay, I think this is probably gonna have the most physical labor of all of our videos. So we're gonna unpack <laughs> all of our stuff <laughs> and we're gonna set it out on the ground. Put it out on the curb. People are probably gonna think we're getting a divorce or something. Well, no, they'd be thrown out. Oh, we'll make <laughs> it more organized. All over. So if that's it's organized, the then they're like, oh no, they're together. Yes, that's the key. <laughs> if you're going to put your stuff outside, keep it organized. Yeah. But don't put prices on it. Is it a lot of stuff or a little bit of stuff or is it just the right amount of stuff? I think it's a little more than I'd like, but it's not bad. I don't think it's bad either. I think the trick was that we're in between seasons. So like for mm. instance, I've got 12 long sleeve shirts and sweatshirts and 12 short sleeve shirts. I mean, it'd be nice to just bring yeah. one or the other, but that wasn't an option this time. I've got shorts, I've got pants. I totaled them all up so you guys can get a sense of how much we traveled with. But as I'm looking at this, we could be out 17 days. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go in. I think what we should do is maybe- I have one other question. Oh. What's this for? Here's my idea. If for any reason, we couldn't use a hose to put water in our tank. We could put this in the fill hole and we could use bottled water or water of a different kind if we needed to have water. Cause we were winterized when we left. So this was just a, like a de-winterizing sort of just in case. I don't know, maybe we didn't need to bring it, but why did you bring the outdoor shower <laughs> container thing? What is that about? Why We're not taking outdoor shower. Why did I bring this? The this? outdoor shower? Yeah, here, here, here. You, here. Also, again, not sponsored, but <laughs> this is our outdoor shower. It's really like a changing station sort of thing. You can set it up next to the camper and use it as an outdoor shower. And I don't know how long we'd be out 
or how warm it would be. Turns out it's gonna be in the 50s and I'm not doing that when I can walk right over there and take a shower, but call that wishful thinking. I'm just saying, this just in case is way smaller than your outdoor shower. I think both of them have the same likelihood of being used. Yes! <laughs> we are gonna start with the largest of the storage areas now. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Okay, this is the largest storage area in the Alto R1713. Uh, this back bench looks like it would be storage, but it's not because that has to fold down in order for the um, roof to retract. So this is the biggest storage and we're gonna start with that first. These are the items that we would, it lifts up like this and then there's this um, brace that holds it up on one side and it stays up like that. And we've got some non-skid things down on the bottom so stuff stays put. Right, It work well. down in the inside, there's some white and black ones. Okay. I asked not to bring this, but we do use it more often than I thought. So this is the awning. That is the, the canopy, the fabric part, and then this is the poles. And that fits in the longest part. We also have a ta collapsible table, which works great as a desk when Joe's working outside as well. Okay. And then I always tuck the broom in here so I can reach it because the door opens and then I can get the broom down there. Um, I don't usually put the instant pot in this storage cabinet, but that's how it worked out this time. Put that back there. Um, I have an extra duvet cover, so we don't need to um, launder the ones we have right away. We can just switch them up. Our hamper bag always goes right in the front here so that when we add our dirty laundry, we can just put it in the bag right there. Mm -hmm. So when it's set up as a bed, we don't have to open up the top. We can just use the sliding door to access that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I usually tuck my shoes, my extra shoes in behind the laundry bag. And then I have a couple extra bags of clothes. Oh, and there's an empty spot in there. And what usually goes in there is Irma's collapsible outdoor bed. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. And that's what she was laying in outside. Yeah, <laughs> she was laying on out there. It yep. breaks apart, so there's poles mm -hmm. and then a fabric cover, much like the canopy, and it all fits in there as well. But the mm -hmm. bolster that goes on the top usually fits into this spot right here. Yep. And then extra clothes. This is the Berkey's, um, the water filter we use. This is mm -hmm. the travel case for it. Just in case. Just in case, funnel. I don't know why that's in that storage yeah. compartment. These are straps for our bedrolls. And I actually took the screen off the back just because I wanted oh, to yeah. see it. Mm -hmm. It was prettier. Right. And then this big ox just goes on top. Mm -hmm. So With you can see we have plenty of room. Room to spare. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Time for my side. So this side opens up as well, like the other side does. And it's got a little prop rod here. Now this side has far less space in it because the Truma Combi, our heating system for heat, primarily for us, and hot water is on this side. So the space is maybe about half of what this size side is. And Let's see what's all in here. This is my Omnia oven. Uh, I like to bake when I'm on the road sometimes. So I yeah. keep this under my bed so it's handy. Oh, wow. Uh, an extension cord. This is really for the Instapot more than anything. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. This is our paraphernalia for hammocks. When I said paraphernalia, Sherry's eyes got really big. <laughs> I guess she thought I was going to say something else. <laughs> this is not the YouTube channel. Oh, you want the... This is the TP? Back up. Back up. Just in case. <laughs> Some trekking poles. Got to have them. Uh, let's see. This is my, uh, my bike helmet and some of my bike, bicycling gear for mountain biking. Fits under there nicely. We've got a 12 volt fan 
which works very well. I would recommend that. And then I have a Camelback backpack that I use for backpacking, but I also store some of our camera gear in here for recording videos. And that's really it for that side. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, my clothes. Thank you. And these are my summer clothes that I put in there. That's it. Still room. Yeah. I think that's all of our stuff in the back. Now move to our front cabinets. Last up is our upper cabinets. Um, not all models come with them. If you get the window, the big window, you will not get the upper cabinets. But we are happy with these cabinets. We use them for our clothing storage. There's one on either side. I am not going to put you through watching us put all of our clothing away. So we'll fill these up and show you what they look like full. Can you do a little snap or like a hocus pocus thing and we'll oh. do one of those cuts. <laughs> wow. Oh, it does look nice rolled up. Your side looks better than my side. <laughs> so much better rolled up. Good job, Sherry. Oh. Oh my gosh, you have nothing. No, I really don't have much up there. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That covers the storage indoors. The only outdoor storage that we have is on the passenger side right here. It's under the dinette seat on the passenger side in the Alto. And I think pretty much every camper has some outdoor storage. The smaller the camper though, the smaller the storage. So. This is what we call the garage. <laughs> um, I should probably explain, uh, try to explain what this is. This is a little storage, plastic storage container that I got from work that works nice to just keep small things from bouncing around in here. So I've just got some gloves for the dump station and some miscellaneous tools and supplies in here. Um, this is for the caravan mover. This is our EMS, which I installed. That's not a factory option. I put that in there. And our converter, uh, or sorry, inverter charger is in there. So not a lot of stuff, but just the essentials and, you know, things just in case. Like the funnel. <laughs> That's where the funnel should be, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap this video up. thought that was going to be a bit tedious i thought but it was actually really nice yeah yeah i mean i think anytime you can empty something out and put it back you always put it back a little more organized than it was so thanks for uh getting us to do that yeah it was it was probably overdue <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for watching again i'm joe and this is sherry yeah <laughs> And we're a life more light. <laughs> I just came out, sorry. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, when you do comment, that helps the algorithm a lot. So don't hesitate. Tell us what your experiences are. Tell us what tips and tricks you've found for storage. We'd be happy to know. Thanks for watching. Oh! Oh! Wait! Stop right there. In the box below, I'm going to list all of the clothing items we brought so you can see how many we brought of everything. Some of you probably don't care. But some of you might be curious how many shirts and pants and socks and such we have. So look down below. You'll find that there. Yeah, we'll put some links down there too for like the water bottle and things that we've talked about in this video. So check the description box. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> <Mom>. <laughs>place where I am right now, I'm sure there's no monkeys here. I'm sure there isn't. But in a place where there are monkeys, I imagine it would look like this. This place is unreal. Can't you just imagine monkeys making noises in here?